Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on Laws of Logarithms question using Solve. We're going to use the ClassWiz's Solve feature to help support us with our solution to this question. You are given that log, and the log has a base of a, of x equals a half log 36 plus log 75 minus 2 log 5, and we have to find the value of x. Now the way that I'm going to approach this question is to use the ClassWiz's Solve feature to find a solution for x. Now that won't be a sufficient solution to get typically three marks in examination. We're going to have to give a written solution with steps, a written method, but it will help us to confirm that we're getting the same value as the class whiz. The first step I'm going to take is to actually solve this using the solver on the class whiz. So I'm going to carefully input this. Now we need to choose the base of a logarithm the question just has a base of a now that can be any valid base as long as it's consistent throughout all four logarithms that we have given in the question there so i'm going to use the standard log which is log with a base of 10. you can access that by pressing shift and then we've got the negative number button you can see log written above that here but you can use any base so you can use the log with any base feature you can use base 10 if you want base 2 etc or you can use the natural logarithm as well just as long as you're consistent throughout but i'm going to use the standard log so it's shift and log and that's x and then we need to input an equals so it's alpha and equals and then we just need to accurately copy out the remainder of the question there half log 36 plus log 75 minus 2 log 5. So once that's been inputted, you need to press shift and then solve. And it will say x equals and then either zero or your previously stored value of x. We just need to press equals again to confirm that we want to solve this for x. And here we have our solution x equals 18 now what I'm going to do is just make a note of that and just bubble it just put it in a little bubble I'm going to reference that a little bit later once I've done my written solution so if I'm aiming to achieve all three marks on this particular question then I need to provide a written step-by-step -step method of how I'm going to obtain that solution of 18 so the first thing I'm going to write I'm just going to Make it nice and clear that what I've done is used the standard log, log with a base of 10 to represent log a. So I'm going to just write log a x equals log x. And that makes it nice and clear to anyone looking at the question that I've used a logarithm with a base of 10. Now, the aim of this question is to use laws of logarithms in order to be able to combine the three separate logarithms that we've got there into one logarithm with an argument that should equal 18 just to match the solution that we've got from the class with. So the first law that I'm going to use is the law where I can change a logarithm that has a coefficient. So we can see that the first and third one have a coefficient. In the first one here, we've got a half. I'm gonna raise that as the power of the argument within the logarithm. So it's logarithm 36 to the power of a half plus log 75, that's not going to change, minus, and again, I'm going to change the coefficient to an index number within the logarithm there, so it's log of five squared. On my next line, I'm just going to write out what the results of the first and third logarithm are once I've resolved the uh, index number there. Well, log of 36 to the power of a half, power of a half is the square root of 36, which is six, that, so that's the log of six plus log of 75, that hasn't changed, minus the log of five squared, which is 25, so the log of 25. Now I need to use further laws of logarithms in order to be able to combine these logarithms. Well, I know that if I am adding logarithms, then I can multiply the values within, or if I'm subtracting, then I can divide the values within, and if you're careful, you can do these in either order. What I'm going to do is just combine the second and the third one there. We have log 75 subtract log 25. I know that the law is that I need to divide the first value by the second value. That's 75 divided by 25. That's three. So I can rewrite those last two as log of three. So what I've got so far is log x equals log six plus log three. And then when we have two logarithms adding together there, I'm going to multiply what's within them. So I'm going to rewrite that as a single logarithm. B 
the log of six times three, that's 18. And we can see here on this line, we've got the log of X equals the log of 18. And so from that, we can deduce that X equals 18. And there we go. That matches what I've got bubbled at the top there from the class which is solver. It's worth noting that I could have done the second to last step there the other way around. I could have done log six times 75 that would have given me a result of 450 so then I would have had logarithm of 450 minus logarithm of 25 and would have had to have divided 450 by 25 that gives me 18 so I've still got the same result that I was expecting there we go so how you can use the class whiz sole feature to help support any questions that you need to do involving the laws of logarithms so if you're interested in finding out more about how the ClassWiz can support your work with logarithms or indeed calculus or trigonometry, then you can get my course, Master Your Casio ClassWiz Calculus, Trigonometry and Logarithms, either on Udemy or on Teachable via the links below where you'll find a 67% discount. But that's it from this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.